When we talk about Ray, we often, all commentators, talk about his childhood, the fact that his father was a nonsense rhyme writer, brilliant nonsense rhyme writer, whose, whose rhymes we grew up with, you know. This is the great amusement of our, our, our lives as children. And uh, the fact that his grandfather was uh, also a writer for uh, children's stories and made uh, marvelous drawings, very interesting drawings, and that he, um, his grandfather started uh, a printing press and learned so much about half tone photography and printing and block making and so on and so forth. All this is habitually imposed on Ray, but uh, uh, it is difficult to remember in that context that he was only two years old when his father, when his father died. But I should think that uh, in childhood what happens, in a childhood like that especially, that uh, the reflections of his father and of his grandfather and of the family and the family's interests, the family's concerns, uh, must have been very forcefully imprinted in his mind because uh, as the only child of his mother, he would have constantly heard about his father whom, whom his mother also, you must remember, uh, lost uh, at an early stage of, of her life. So she, she relived her experiences, she must have, uh, and uh, she must have relived them with, with her son, telling her son how her, what his father was or, or what the family had been like and what they had gone through, what they had done, what they had wanted to achieve. And they were certainly a part of the larger canvas that was opening up in Bengal and with the Bengal Renaissance and its aftermath, uh, the, in which there was a strong impetus to change society, to, uh, to, to change Hinduism from its orthodoxy, from its almost nonsensical kind of ritualism. His, its concern with things that did not matter, uh, in, and the, the blind faith, the superstitions that, uh, that 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 obtained in society in those in those in those days. Um, uh, I, I myself made a film in which a man made, um, uh, married 165 times, 165 times, um, because of caste reasons, uh, the, the women of, that, of a particular period, of a particular sect, uh, found it very difficult to marry. So they, 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 many of them were married after the same man. Uh, now, the beliefs which inspired these actions, which had the very evil effects on society, uh, these beliefs had to be attacked had to be changed. And you cannot, could not allow the society to remain inert and, and, and dead uh, and uninfluenced by what was happening uh, all over the world. Uh, through the British we had a window to, to Europe and to, to the West. And uh, we knew something about uh, how science had affected the lives of people, was affecting the lives of people, how it was changing uh, out outlooks. So something of that rubbed off on, uh, on, 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 on uh, a section of society which became the Brahmo uh, and the, uh, well, allied kind of uh, movements, uh, thoughts. Mm. So, uh, in the case of Ray, uh, in his childhood, uh, in spite of the death of his father so early, uh, he would have, he, he, he grew up Sing, uh, listening to Tagore songs, the songs written not only by Tagore but by his father, by uh, others in the Brahmo movement, um, and uh, uh, come across new attitudes to dancing, to music, to society, to uh, the, the, the freedom of women, to the right of self-expression, and all these these problems that uh, are bound to crop crop up in a society which is exposed to a different set of ideas and at the same time has to contend 
with age-old age-old superstitions, age-old in the sense that uh, they had obtained for uh, a few hundred years, uh, but not age-old in the sense that uh, they they were originally uh, the the set of ideas that the Hindus started off with, the ideas in the Vedic and, and the, particularly the Upanishads, the the, the, the later Vedas, later Vedic texts, uh, were revolutionary. And those revolutionary ideas had to be, these people felt, had to be brought back into in, into Hindu society, to activate Hindu society in a different way. Uh, and this is an atmosphere, a, a force generated uh, by a fair number of highly educated people and inspired people that Ray could not have avoided. Uh, embracing them, avoided uh, imbibing from, 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 from the society around him, uh, listening to Brahmo sermons and songs. His mother was a singer. She was, I remember her singing in Hazari by Brahmo Samaj, playing a cottage, cottage organ and singing Ravindra Shangit. A tall woman, very imposing. And I, it's, it's a, a very distinct impression, a picture in my mind. So uh, later on, sometimes uh, Ray sometimes uh, said yes, this is what happened inside me, and sometimes he opposed it. He was he was, he was not taken with the uh, with the idea of being uh, put into a slot, as it were. So he he would revolt. He he, he, would, he would he would brush it aside, uh, and uh, this this. Uh, I, I was, I'd like to think that I was the, uh, he, he was the artist and I was the analyst. I was more of the, of the critic already than um, he was. And uh, he was more of the, of, the, of the creative artist, which I, I have never become. Uh, and uh, this is the reason why uh, he, he, he uh, had a, he had a uh, difficult relationship with his past. He, he both acknowledged it and wanted to disclose it. Um, for instance, in a, in a in a in an interview with with a uh, with a British or French uh, critic, I think, uh, who, who asked him, uh, "What do you think of this talk about?" Um, Tagore's impression on you, that you live within the Tagore value world. Uh, this was particularly a reference to an article I had written in the winter of 1966-67 uh, in, in Sight and Sound, in which I had brought out this question of the Tagore value world which had developed and which in which Ray was born and grew up. He wanted to set that aside. He said, oh, that's a, the resemblance between uh, between uh, um, between uh, in, and this actor, uh, what's his name? The, who is in Charlotte and all the old uh, uh, whom I know very well, um, Chatterjee. Um, he, he, he had he wore a beard in in. Uh, Opu uh, Shankar, the world of Opu, Shomitra Chatterjee. Um, the, 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 the resemblance between Shomitra Chatterjee with a beard and Rabindranath Tagore with a beard, at the same age, uh, which I had pointed out as a, as a significant manifestation of this uh, of this uh, relationship with the, with, with Tagore, uh, Ray dismissed as an accident. Oh, purely say something coincidental, nothing, no, no significance. He didn't see any significance. And yet, of course, uh, one part of his mind acknowledged it. 